us, pulling our strings behind the scenes as they built their criminal empire on the back of hardworking people like each of you. They seduced us with advertisements for a life we could never afford, poisoned our bodies with junk food, and distracted our minds with pointless entertainment, all the while happily lending us money to push us further into their debt. Yeah, yeah. I can guarantee you that when I die, there ain't gonna be a clone. I'm the only real one when I'm in a zone. I know they wanna catch me when I'm all alone, and I'm cool with that. I'm used to having to hold my own. Yeah, the skills and the rhymes and the raps are built for combat. I'm here to take the children's minds back from the television and the villainous mind traps and the criminals and the military complex. Yeah, cause the TV got a mouth on it. So watch your kids when they get hit from the sound from it. In the internet when they playing around on it. The technology is how they are surrounding us. Cybernetic tentacles, metal flesh, metallic tendrils, subliminal sexual messages sent through your mentals, experimental test tubes and genetic vessels. Yeah, they're looking down upon us from the minus. They want us traumatized from the drama. We not go stop, we ride like marauders. It's hard to find us. We camouflage in the collage of mirages. Robotic all the cars have come to bomb us. This goes beyond anonymous and as large as goddess. We've got piranhas in our waters. Yeah. Look at the corporate folk, they slide a bill under your nose without snorting coke. You think your shit won't sink because you float your votes? Well, bye bye, motherfucker, row, row your boat. Uh, yeah. Now, will you listen? These psychopaths want us to bow when they sit, and I'm loud when I'm spitting. My mouth is a weapon, so when I bust rounds, don't down when I'm ripping. I ain't a killer, I ain't a killer. But I murder the mainstream. Murder, 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 murder the mainstream. This is the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company You could call it reparations or restitution Lock and load, nigga I'll tell you how you can go investigate your city council Figure out if they're legit If they're working for the people or not Or to figure out if they have their own agenda And they just want to make a bunch of fucking money So as far as us here in Sacramento If you watch some of our videos you will see that we have a few Illuminati videos, a few cultic videos, and if you're into that kind of stuff, it's very easy to figure out. If you're not, you might want to go and look it up. Uh, just go downtown to your own council buildings, or just downtown in particular, and see the sculptures that the buildings are made out of. Look at the details of the building. Uh, if you want to know what to look for, you can just check out some of our videos on it. And, yeah, some of it's hard to believe, but if you just do your research a little bit, I mean, it, that's all it takes. A lot of people don't figure this stuff out on their own because they're too lazy to go and look stuff up. It only takes, like, 10 seconds to type something in and press search. You know, you'd rather put your little articles up about what I had to eat today and crap like that that nobody fucking cares about or unless it's some kind of inside joke that only your friends know about which if that's the case you shouldn't be sharing it with everybody else you should be sharing it with your friends but we like to think of Facebook as somewhat of a uh, a news weapon I guess if you will a, another social media network instead of a social network uh, because the media that you find on TV, you know, CNBC, MSNBC, CNN, they're all government run. I mean, just look at the people that are the CEOs of these companies. That will tell you right there exactly what they do. For instance, let me give you a hint. Go to CNN and find out who they're run by. They're run by Ted Turner. If you look further into Ted Turner will find out that his father and a lot of other people that he knew very closely had ties to the CIA and if you look into that CIA CNN you look into that and you'll find out where most of their money comes from and you'll find out where most of their money goes and it's the same thing with all the other news networks now as far as how that ties in with your council and your own local news network that's not hard to figure out either just what I told you they're run by the CIA and it, it trickles down I mean our lower level people at these news networks gonna tell you gonna tell you know the CIA and stuff like that we're not gonna follow along with you or is it gonna be the other way around that's how this shit works folks and that's why uh, social media networks 
especially like Infowars.com and DrudgeReport.com and WorldNetDaily and Zero Hedge. That's where you're going to get all of your news from nowadays. I mean, at least when you look up these websites, you can actually go and look up what they said and find out that it was true. Now, if you go to like CNN or something like that, just look up what they say. And you'll know that what they say is absolutely not the truth. I mean, look, listen to what they tell you on the mainstream media as far as, you know, uh, when they do the nightly news or even throughout the day when they're just reporting regular news. Okay, and then go and look at their actual archives. For instance, CNN. Just go and type CNN slash archives, news archives. And you'll get all of their actual stories right there and find out that it's nothing near what they report to the general public on television every night. Okay, so these media networks are run by corporate interests that just tell you what they want to tell you. Now, in other words, if you go to places like Infowars, stuff like that... They tell you the complete opposite. They'll tell you what the fucking truth is. And if you just go and take two seconds to look that up, you'll find out that that's the actual truth. It's in government documents. I'm, I, don't know, I don't know how else to say it. It's so easy to figure this shit out. It's not fucking funny. And to tell you the truth, I can't believe that people are, are letting them get away with this shit. I mean, this is just too much corruption. This is violating everything from the First Amendment until the Tenth Amendment, until the fucking Thirtieth uh, Amendment, if you really want to do some math. And, you know, the more freedoms that they take away from you, the easier it's going to be to condition you into taking whatever they else they want. Like, if they say a, a major big lie and get you to believe that, Whatever is under that lie, you know, a smaller lie than that, you're going to believe that because you already believed the big lie. That's how, that's called propaganda. That's how they get you. That's how they got you by the balls. I mean, if people just did their own reporting, which they're supposed to do, we would be in and out of this government so fucking quick. Whatever happened to term limits, which is in the Constitution... Whatever happened to letting the people vote on bills and vote on rights and stuff like that instead of letting the government vote on it themselves? Whatever happened to letting people bear arms? And that has nothing to fucking do with going and hunting a deer or a bear. Uh, it goes with having, it says right in the fucking constitution, men should have the right to bear arms. In case their government gets too out of control or too big. Which our government has both gotten. It's too big. They just keep hiring higher and higher people for different positions that don't even exist. Like the NSA and CIA and the IRS and Homeland Security. I mean it goes on and on. The shit never ends. That It's not supported like that. That's not how the Constitution works. I mean, have people forgotten about the Constitution? People need to start going and looking shit up. It's not too fucking hard. And, you know, I just want people to know that you you do have a voice in everything. You need to go down to your council meetings and you need to tell them what you're pissed off about and what they're doing wrong. Because they're not the boss of you. You are the boss of them. They work for you. You do not work for them. And the same goes with your government. You need to show them who's in charge. You need to show them that you don't take any bullshit from them. You need to show them that they can't just fucking steamroll you without your opinion being heard. And that's why shit all over this country and all over this world is, has been depicted like that. Like they're the bosses. And that's not. And yeah, you might say shit about the Constitution. It's, it's just for the United States. No, it's not. It's for every single country on this planet. We all have the same universal law. 
to pr the pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And anybody that tries to take you away from non unalienable rights, that is complete oligarchy, it's complete fascism, it's complete socialism, it's complete corruption, it's whatever the fuck one of those you want to call it. But let's start facing facts here. Let's start being for real with each other. Because we all know what's going on. They're trying to racially divide us once again. Which that shit was over after Martin Luther King got assassinated. How many of our presidents have warned us about the military industrial complex? How many of our presidents have warned us about the Fed? How many of them have warned us that we don't need the CIA or the IRS? That they're just going to demonize everybody? And it's all coming to fruition right now, right? Am I right or wrong? I mean, it's time for all of us to start, start just fucking admitting this stuff. And getting out of the fucking closet. Start put, you know, start putting boots on the ground and getting people to your city council. That's how you're going to get them. That's how we own them. You need to get down there. You need to tell them who really runs shit. You need to tell them that they're going to be out of office soon if they keep their shit up. You're going to tell them you're going to need to look into their records, look into their financial statements, uh, look into what they voted for, the laws they tried to pass, everything like that, so they know you're not fucking around. You need to open your fucking mouth and do something about it already. This fucking country is going down the toilet. And before it's too late, you better take it back because we are the last to stand in this fucking world. There's nobody else that's going to do it, let's face it. America's the most powerful army on the planet. And even the military is waking up to this shit. You know what the hell is going on. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new. And it is not order.